So now let's look at uh, an example of fitting actually experimentally measured um, polarization curve, which is over potential versus current density data to butler volmer equation to get the kinetic parameters such as um, exchange current density and the symmetry factor. So let's look at the data below. The data below were taken for a nickel um, oxide hydroxide electrode reaction involving a single electron. So it doesn't matter what exactly the reaction redox reaction is, but we know it involves a single electron or the N is one in this um, electrochemical half cell reaction. And uh, we have over potential J for current density, over potential in the unit of volt, negative means cathodic bias, positive means anodic bias. And with cathodic bias, we have negative current density, meaning cathodic or reduction current, while with positive over potential, we have positive current, meaning oxidation or anodic current. So we want you to fit the data, this over potential versus current density data to butler volmer equation to obtain the kinetic parameters, which specifically in this case, the exchange current density, J0, and the symmetry factor, beta. So to do that, you first um, would enter these types of data into uh, software such as Microsoft Excel. Then this is a screenshot that I did, and uh, these are different uh, um, numbers. So these two columns, I would enter them here. The first column in column G give us the over, over potential in the unit of volt. The column H give us the measured um, current density in the unit of amps per meter square. Okay, so with these um, original or raw data, and then the next thing that I did was to have some initial gas for the values of J0, exchange current density, and beta, the symmetry factor. So I initially guessed, based just on, on common sense, beta, we said earlier before, it's quite often 0.5, okay? One minus beta would also be just one minus 0.5 would be 0.5, and J0, for simplicity, let me just assume it is 0.05 amp per square meter, 0 0.05 per square meter. So with these numbers, we can directly use the butler volmer equation to calculate current using the butler volmer equation, okay? So the column I from row 10 to row 29 are calculated current value based on butler volmer Vol equation using the assumption that initial that the J0 value is 0 0.05 amp per square meter and the beta is 0 0.5. And we would get this number. Okay? And then this is just the initial gas. This is experimentally measured, and we can calculate the error. So column J from row 10 to row 29 would be the error, which is just the actual current I minus the calculated current from butler volmer equation which as I showed here for one cell would be H10, the actual current measured, minus I10, which is the current calculated using these initial gas value. 
and you do this calculation for all the different uh, over potential or different uh, current you get all these errors some are negative some are positive okay and then with Excel we can calculate uh, cell J30 which is so-called sum of error squared and in Excel that's a function called SUMSQ means sum of error squared essentially it do it does the square for each of the cells from J10 to J29 do the square and then do the summation and the result in this case would be 80.144 so we have some initial gas value we can based on the initial gas we calculated the current density we also calculated the error between actual value and the calc and uh, calculated the value based on the initial gas and then we calculate the sum of a square sum of error squared to be this number 80 which is a high number okay as we said earlier we have entered the raw data in these two columns and then we can calculate the uh, current based on some initially assumed value for symmetry factor and exchange current density to become uh, this column and then we can calculate the error between the ca the measured value versus the calculated value to be this column and then we can do the sum of error squared then to do fitting we can use Excel solver Excel solver it's typically in the data and uh, it's in the solver analysis tool that's a solver we can use Excel solver to fit for the J0 exchange current density and the beta symmetry factor value and if you click solver a dialog box comes up and shown here and uh, the first thing is to set the objective the set the objective and in this case we would choose our sum of square area d30 d30 sum of square area to be minimum we want to minimize this error in our fitting sum of error squared d30 to be minimum that will be the objective or goal for our fitting by changing the parameter then the next would be by changing variable cell for this one is what parameter which parameter on this excel sheet that we want to optimize we want to fit for and in this particular case we want to fit for symmetry factor beta which is in cell d6 as well as j0 the exchange current density which is in cell d7 d6 and d7 so you click this button and select the d6 and d7 these two cells will be fitted okay will be the parameter that we would change systematically to try in order to try to minimize the cell d30 which is the sum of error squared in order for it to be minimized okay once we select that and one more thing um, these are the parameters to be um, optimized or to be fitted and one more thing would be so-called constraints and in this case since we know for beta for symmetry factor is typically between 0 to 1 so I put a, a upper boundary of 1 in there well it also assumes it to be positive in the fitting and after all this we would click solve after you set up all the parameters the objective the variables which are these two and uh, the 
constraints or conditions which we give only one which is for beta to be smaller or equal to one then you click solve I just use the general CRG nonlinear solver and click solve and uh, the Excel will do the fitting quickly and get the numbers so once you use the Excel solver and you provide the data and initial data and you set it up you click the solve and it will come up with this dialog box it essentially says the solver found a solution solver found an optimized solution which means it converge and let's look at X, the numbers Excel automatically adjust the variables or the parameters the numbers to be fitted and uh, instead of 0 0.5 0 0, uh, 5, it now gets to 0 0.4974 for the fitted beta or symmetry factor while the J0 value was 0 0.6024 Okay, so these like cell solvers um, fitted the data and also tried to minimize the sum of error square. And you can see this number was greatly reduced, and actually it was a minimum, greatly reduced. Previously it was 18, now it was only 0.187. And you can try by changing uh, these numbers further up or down either way you cannot significantly beat or this number or be a number that is much lower than this okay which means we have found the optimized number for this parameter so this is just an example of of doing data fitting to the butler Volmer equation to determine the or estimate the kinetic parameters such as symmetry factor beta and exchange current density okay using excel sour function